to roll here inside Titan Gym. Tip is up. The stage is set and we are underway. Road Navy Blues with white, rather with yellow down the sides for UC Irvine. Home orange and navy blues for UC or Cal State Fullerton immediately. Vincent Lee able to get under it, swipe it away, and we're off to the races. This is Latrell Wright, so we'll get to the lineups here in just a moment. I will tell you though, Wright, Tell, Milstead, Lee, San Antonio, and Anasiki, the typical five out there for Coach Taylor in effect. How about Anasiki pulling his way to the rack off glass for two. And you know, this is gonna be a different ball game. Last time these two squads faced off against each other, Fullerton, they got the final two baskets. They won that game 65 to 63. But what's interesting enough, Torrey San Antonio did not play at all that game. That was JC Butler, the Prairie School alum out of Wisconsin floating it up and in. He's averaging a hair under seven points per game. JC Butler, Dawson Baker, Justin Hone, Austin Johnson, and Colin Velp on the floor right now for the Anteaters. As I mentioned, we will get you that lineup. Two to two ball game here in the opening minute of action. And that perimeter defense is just unstoppable for UC Irvine. They force Anasiki, not a prolific three-point shooter, into a wide-open three opportunity. They're, they're going to bait him. And by the way, the score that you see on your screen may not actually be indicative. We will keep you updated um, as things get worked out back in the room. Here's Justin Hone, the sophomore from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. How about that little skit? All the way down. Can hit it over the back foul on the ensuing opportunity for an offensive rebound that will go against Austin Johnson. Robbie Johnson's gonna be another player to watch here tonight for the Anteaters. Yeah, I mean, you already talked about his number, 99 career blocks. We're looking for 100 career blocks and he leads the Big West Conference in blocks. So again, you talk about this defense, you see Irvine, the best defense really in the NCAA in the Big West Conference and really what's the issue for UC Irvine this majority of the season is really offensively they can't finish they're having the hard time finishing with the basketball Cal State Fullerton one of the best offenses so in this game you're talking about the best offense versus the best defense so it's going to be a fun one tonight that's for sure. Milstead can hit the floater looked for some redemption and he got it able to tap it off the foot of JC Butler comes back the other way here for Cal State Fullerton Titans lot losers of two of their last three. They are fresh off a win at CSUN 81 to 75. On the other side for the Anteaters, they're riding a seven game winning streak. They are holding opponents to just 50 points per game. Anasiki short on the straightaway three point opportunity. Hone brings it the other way. I mean, even last game, UC Irvine was just unbelievable against Hawaii. I mean, they were up all the way from 30 points against UC Irvine. And obviously that's that decrease just because they decided to go on more to their bench but again this shows right here right now that this year this UC Irvine team is unstoppable Butler with four quick points here we saw a zone look for Fullerton on their last defensive possession and you're gonna see a lot of balls pushed into the corner for the Anteaters it's gonna open up the baselines and we'll see how lackadaisical that interior defense is for Coach Milstead, or excuse me, for Coach uh, Taylor's squad. And it's smart because when you're playing zone, you're playing in a position where you're getting UC Irvine in an uncomfortable position. If you get your opponent to an uncomfortable position throughout the entirety of the game, you know what? The conclusion of the game is going to be in your favor. And Manuel Shimonga on the high post swings it out. Dawson Baker turns the corner. Tiptoed around, lost the handle, and a sick in a three on three break. Guns it up to right cell, a little step back off the block, falls through. Latrell right cell, the sophomore out of Omaha, averaging 6.2 points per game. Missed a good chunk of last season due to a foot injury. He's been pretty steady this year, starting every game for Cal State Fullerton. And they're going to need his production here tonight. And that's all it is. It's the next man up. I mean, Dante Maddox Jr., he is not going to be playing here tonight. We're hopeful that he'll play Saturday, but we'll see since they're going to play against UC San Diego. But again, it's all about getting that one, the next man up. And a sick, you can't throw it down, but Justin Hone able to get a hand in there. A little bit of the wrist as well. That'll send Anasiki to the line. You saw in the previous possession, Colin Velp miss a three-point shot. This guy is unbelievable. We're going to say his name all throughout the evening. You saw him as the player to watch for the Anteaters. Velp, a two-time first-team All-Big Wester. Last season, he, by the way, he was a first-team Big Wester and he was the sixth player of the year. So he was a first-teamer coming off the bench, which is almost an anomaly. It doesn't matter if you're a mid-major, a high-major, a low-major. That is a very rare speaks to his dynamic ability on the floor. 
And right now it's his counterpart on the other side, E.J. Anasicki. Third leading scorer in the Big West Conference, making it two for two at the line and giving his team a two point lead. Two very different teams between UC Irvine and Cal State Fullerton. They last matched up back on the 15th of January. The only loss since then for the Anteaters was the ensuing game against Long Beach State. Since then, they have won every single game. And that was only a two-point game. You know they want that one back as well. Came down to free throws. There's a feed down low. Extra pass taken away by Vincent Lee. Active hands in the paint for the Titans. You know, you got to rely on Lee. Defensively, he's on point. We saw earlier he draws that over the back fouls almost every single game because he's very aggressive going underneath the cup, kind of sacrificing his body, doing what all he can do really to go grab that basketball. Anasicki decides to see the opportunity for a three to right. Sell, step inside, free throw, Jay, no good, rebound to Butler. I like that look, though, from Latrell. And we have the starters, a reiteration for you here coming. As that flip up and in is good for Emmanuel Chimanga, Montreal Can Canadian. J.C. Butler, Dawson Baker, Justin Hone line the perimeter down low, Austin Johnson and Colin Avelp. Perhaps the biggest dynamic duo in the paint in the Big West. On the other side, Vincent Lee and A.J. Anasicki down low. Latrell right tail, Damari Milstead and Torrey San Antonio on the perimeter for the Titans. I mean, you already know this game is going to be chippy. I mean, last time that these two squads faced off against each other at Titan Gym, Russell Turner had to be kind of evacuated off the course from of the of the court. <laughs> escorted. From, yes, escorted out of the court from our facilities manager. And, you know, they Fullerton and UC Irvine. 14.35 to go here in the opening half. And right now, both teams struggling from the field. Two for seven for the Annie, just three for six for the Titans. Bit of contact on that shot, no call. The miss was by DJ Davis. Grew up not too far down the road. I saw him in high school, Riverside Poly. That kid was incredible. Here's a corner triple, no good from Reitzel. And a flop warning is going to be called. That goes against DJ Davis. Remember, flop warning basically just stops play. The next one on any person on, any player rather, on UC Irvine will be a team technical. I'm not surprised on that. And the reason why, because we saw there where he fell when he made the, the long two ball. And it seemed like the official was going already to kind of communicate, hey, you already got a warning. I saw that, be careful. And so with that little talk right there against San Antonio, again, a little kind of little collision. It's hard though to make that call because especially in basketball, you got all that momentum going forward to the cup. So again, it's a tough decision, but you kind of just want to make sure that the officials are on their toes here tonight. Small lineup in right now for Coach Turner. Ball into the middle to the only big guy out there. Shimonga lost the handle two on two. Now a three on two break in favor of the defense. Looks like Trey Maddox will pull it back. Maddox, the senior out of Novi, Michigan. Lee takes the feed down low up against contact. No problem for Vincent Lee. He's averaging a hair over 10 points per game. And this guy, you know, you mentioned him earlier, Robbie, and sort of the numbers that he does and, and his physical attributes on the court. But, I mean, no matter what, his presence is a game changer. He's scrappy. Again, as I mentioned earlier, he's the guy that's going to sacrifice his body, do what he has to do to go underneath the cup, get that basketball, whether it's him creating opportunities for himself or his teammates. And there's another block again. He's just all over underneath the cup all day, every yeah, day. Yeah, that was Ibrahim Famuke Dumbia. High up on the rejection, but the follow, that's why you got to follow those blocks because as great as it is on the statue, you get some oohs and ahs from the crowd. If you don't clean things up on the defensive end and get that board, it's almost all for naught. Back to eights here on the board and a 13 to go. Backdoor look to Harris. Ping ponged around, knocked away by DJ Davis and stays here with the Titans as we get a platoon swap coming in. Back into the game, Dean Keeler, the junior out of Westminster, not too far down the road. Also checking in Dawson Baker for UC Irvine. Damari Milstead checks back in here for the Titans. And you see, this is a situation, again, Cal State Fullerton, they don't have Dante. So when it comes to shooting the three ball, you're going to rely heavily here tonight with Trey Maddox Jr. and Jalen Harris. And an offensive foul caught off the ball. It goes against Famuke Dumbia for setting that a little illegal backdoor pick there. Trying to free up Jalen Harris on sort of that JJ Reddick style backdoor cut, freeing him in the corner. Jalen Harris has been an impact player off the bench. He scored in double figures nine of his last 10 games, including a 20 pointer not two games ago against Hawaii. And especially without Dante here tonight, the Titans are really going to need his offensive production. 
Davis averaging 8.2 points per game. Can't room in that three. 37% three-point shooter. He's actually really good from out there. Want to see I have Southern Section Championship at Riverside Poly. Harris goes high post to Anasiki. Anasiki's going to try and take on Keeler one-on-one. -on -one. Keeler with great closeout, stays high and strong. Forts him to give it back out to Maddox with 10 on the clock. Maddox steps into a triple. In, out, can't get the friendly roll. Great defense there from Davis, really kind of playing man-to-man -man there against Trey Maddox Jr. And again, they're showing right now why they're the best defense right now in the NCAA. And all comes to show, you know, they'll play, you know, zone. They'll go man-to-man. -man. They'll kind of switch it up, their game plan, whatever their opposing team is working on. But again, as long as they keep it tight, you know, really what they're trying to do here is making sure that every shot that Cal State Fullerton takes either is a bad shot selection or it's a contested shot. You saw Dawson Baker reigning Big West fresh of the year out of Cota de Casa, California. What's a Capo Valley High School? Get his first two down low. Fumuke Dumbia able to stay strong on the reverse. Every time we see a basket, we see about a you know a minute, minute and a half lull offensively on both sides, and then when one side scores, the other side follows suit. You like to see though what both of these two squads are doing, and that's they're not forcing to take shots. They're going to continue to pass the basketball. Yes, you might get a good shot, but you know what? There's a big difference between a good and a great shot. So if you get that great shot, it's going to fall through. Cal State Fullerton the same, so implications are about the same on both sides. Of course, Long Beach State currently sitting pretty on the top. Both these teams have played Long Beach State very well as well this season. Conference seems to be anybody's off uh, game especially as we head towards conference tournament time. Milstead down low, lefty flip, got the friendly roll. And there's the Titan back, or the lead back rather, 12 to 10. Great job though from Anasiki because he was ready to go up and kind of push that basketball back in, but a great job there. That's just smart basketball IQ to let that go. Kind of wait to see the end result of that play. This is Isaiah Lee touted for his defense. Velp, tough push into the corner. Baker on top of it, back to Velp with nine. Small defender Tori San Antonio able to get some help from Milstead. Back out for three is Baker off the back iron offensive rebound to Lee. Davis tried to penetrate, but a trio of Titans all collapse on that shoulder. They are not giving an inch. Davis can't hit the 18 footer. Ball tipped back, taken here by the Titans. I like that defensive possession. You give up the offensive rebound, but you immediately cut off any sort of opportunity inside. With 9.57 to go here in the first half and a 12 to 10 score, still very, very close. Let's get you the keys to the game. It's gonna be a fun one. Well, I mean. Well, I will, I will give them to you verbally as our graphics Seem to be on a bit of a vacation here on a Thursday. I don't blame him. It happens. It's, what are you going to do? I just want to enjoy this game, too. We're out here working. Nah, this best job in the world. Milstead takes the screen. I'll give you the keys here in a moment. You know, really quick, you mentioned, Jonathan, Cal State Fullerton's defense so far. Five turnovers already given up from UCI. But not only that, six points already for Cal State Fullerton over the turnover. So that just comes to show that this Cal State Fullerton defense is ready to play and kind of show up, try to one up. Well, UC they, right they just gave up a turnover, and then they all, I mean, it looked like a three and one break for UC Irvine. And then all of a sudden, there were four orange jerseys swarming, cutting off any sort of fast break opportunity. So. You're, you're right in that department now. If you're Coach Taylor, you're saying we shouldn't have given up the turnover to begin with. I mean, we, we've had many conversations throughout this season with DJ Taylor, and, you know, he always talks about Jalen Harris and this squad, and I'm always going to remember that quote. And he said, you know what, this Cal State Fullerton team is one of the most talented teams in all of Cal State Fullerton history. And he said, this is a team right here that, that they can beat everybody as long as the energy is up. But if the energy is low, anyone can beat this team. Well, there's no lack of energy inside this building here tonight. By the way, that was Austin Johnson missing a point blank range floater. He's typically very reliable, a 50% field goal shooter. On the other side, San Antonio looking for space, finds Anasiki who lost it but regained it here with 10 on the clock. Little hop step inside, no foul was called. Couldn't get the layup to fall. Baker brings it the other way. 
And a little 2-1-2 uh, two, two zone looking out for Fullerton. Baker able to free up some space, knock in the 18-footer. Great move there. I mean, he saw a mile away. Harris was ready to jump up, kind of block that basketball. But a good job to see where Harris was located on the right side of his body. Takes a step forward after having control of the basketball to make the easy two. 12 to 12, neither team gaining an inch. Largest lead has been two on both sides. Ball taken away here, Hone in a one-on-one. -on -one. Check that, that is Lee spinning his way to the cup for two. So in two of the last three possessions, we've seen Titan turnovers. Coach Taylor visibly unhappy on the sideline. And again, this is a UC Irvine squad. They're gonna capitalize on every mistake they make, or your opponent makes, and right now it shows. And a foul is called down low. That one will go against Austin Johnson. Johnson has had quite a career, just a junior. National Prep first team back at Link Year Prep in Marietta, Georgia. Platoon swap coming in. He'll check out for Emmanuel Shimonga. And Colin Velp also come back in here for UC Irvine. Vincent Lee back into the game for the Titans. Right now, offensive production eluding both sides. Cal State Fullerton shooting it at 38%. UC Irvine shooting at 41, and how about that hang in the air from Damari Milstead? Didn't have a ton of space, took an extra second elevated, still found a way to make it fall. And that's all it is. You know, be confident in your abilities to play basketball. Simple as that. There's a perfectly great example there from Milstead. A little tough contested shot, but he made it work, made it look easy out there. This guy, Dawson Baker, does not miss. He is stroking it right now. Three for three, freed up space. Another 18 footer this time from the shoulder. And UCI clings on to that two-point lead. Quick down the hatch, in and out the floater goes. Lee gets the board, gets volleyball to track and field at times as well. And, and it was a good shot there seeing the baseball program. They're going to be here this weekend against Gonzaga. Gonzaga. That's going to be fun. Woo. And we have the Judy Garmin coming up too. So it's very fun and it's nice to see even the other teams such as baseball, for example, coming and showing up to support their uh, basketball program here at Cal State Fullerton. Yeah, if you love sports, things are in full action. Vincent Lee went 0 for 2 from the line. UC Irvine continues to lead 16 to 14 and an offensive foul is called to give it back here to the Titans. That will go against JC Butler, his first. Yeah, baseball has that big three-game series up against Gonzaga this weekend. Women's basketball back in this building on Saturday, doubling things up. We got your weekend locked and loaded here on ESPN+. Plus. Right now, the Titans trying to find some offense. They have been scoreless for the last two-plus minutes. Penetrating his right soul, kicks it to the corner. A three for San Antonio, no good. But a foul is called on the tip away. Coming back the other way. 0 for 4 now from beyond the arc for Cal State Fullerton. A team that is not typically very good at three-point three point shooting anyways, but at what point do you just abandon it altogether? And you know what? Speaking of trying to abandon it, it's hard right now because of how UC Irvine's playing the zone right now. They're Again, they're making Cal State Fullerton become uncomfortable. They're really trying, or excuse me, Cal State Fullerton struggling a little bit to get inside and just Vincent perfect. Lee Great. again. And that's been both ways for these two squads. I mean, Cal State Fullerton, they're really trying to get Irvine to shoot beyond the arc. Likewise for UC Irvine against Cal State Fullerton. This is a point in time for both of these two defense to continue. Make the offense uncomfortable. Make them try to force shots that they really can't take. And right now, that's what's been going on for both sides shooting the three ball until now. Yeah, tough turnaround right there from one Mr. Colin Velpt, Seattle, Washington native, redshirt senior, quite a career, two first team Big Westers. He was an all region player as well a season ago. Comes from great genes. His father was a all time player at University of Washington. Pac-10 player of the year back in 1986. Millstead penetrates, turns, scoops, and scores. By the way, that four point UC Irvine lead was, was the largest uh, on either side coming to this point in the game. There's not been much separation. And they are moving the ball really quick right now, just trying to force the ball away from the lane. Step back jumper, Hone got it to fall. First three of the ball game on either side comes from Justin Hone, just a 31% three point shooter. Lead balloons to five now. Milstead loses it, hits the deck, swings it back out here. San Antonio turning the corner. Nice no-look pass to Anisik, who gets absolutely denied from behind. I believe that was Shimonga on the block. Emmanuel Shimonga, seven-footer out of Montreal, just his third block of the season, but it's a big one. And you know what? This is a point in time. Yes, Irvine's up right now, but just by five, and again, you still want to get that momentum 
try to find a way to get that clincher. That's going to be a huge momentum killer if you're Cal State Fullerton. Irvine continuing to extend this run. Seven to two, going back the last two and a half, three minutes. And they are force feeding it right now to the big man. This is Ben Lucient into the corner. Another three, it falls. This time, J.C. Butler on the board with the triple. He has seven points a game high. You talk about Butler, he's just crafty too. I mean, you know what, he's kind of a pass first type of player. But again, you know, you just look at his stats too. He, 6.7 points per game, but again, assists 17 already. You know, it comes to show that, you know, he's a definition right there of a team player. Lee spinning into the paint. Tough defense, even better finish for Vincent Lee. That's this, what you gotta do, muscle it out. Yeah, this guy does not skip arm day at the weight room. Lee, the transfer from Nevada. Originally enrolled there and then transferred here back in the 18-19 season. And boy, has he been an addition to this program. Slow pace of play currently being controlled by the Anteaters. Six point lead, double comes. Vell beats both of them. Floater with a little backspin finds the bottom of the net. Threes, upsets. I mean, it has been a year chock full of both positives and negatives throughout college basketball, but we are blessed to keep on rolling here into the end of February. As Trey Maddox initially got the touch, ball finds Jalen Harris back to Anasicki on the post. Anteaters lead by eight, almost got the turnover. Instead, Harris swings it back out. Straight away, Trey, no good from Milstead. Great shot there, you can't be too disappointed. Yes, you didn't pull the finish, but again, if you continue to get those good shot selections, one of these times they're gonna fall. 0 for five now from beyond the arc for Cal State Fullerton. DJ Davis turns the corner, Lee closes, forces the give up. This is Ofuri Uja Dugale. Uja Dugale. Got, may have gone away with the travel, and I guess the ball don't lie. He tried to fire it down to Lushton on the high post and said it stills out of play and comes the other way. So we have seen some very nice offensive possessions on both sides. We've seen some things that could be cleaned up a little bit. And right now, Coach Turner is screaming at the all the officials. And Robbie mentioned the last time these two teams played in this building a year ago, it was uh, it got chippy. It did, and, you know, we expect that tonight. But you love Russell Turner, you know. The way he coaches, it's like he's one of those players. But you know what? You want to have a coach that's going to go out and really be behind your players' backs. He's going to support them in any way possible, making sure that they're safe out there. And, again, that's a coach that you want, and it shows because of Russell Turner. That is why UC Irvine is one of the best basketball programs, not only in the Big West Conference, but in the NCAA as well. Spent six seasons as an assistant coach for the Golden State Warriors before heading over to Stanford, Wake Forest, and then eventually making his way to UC Irvine. Here's Damari Millsett at the free throw line, a one and one can't hit the front end, so it comes back here to the Anteaters. Three minutes to go and still an eight point lead for Irvine. Offensive continuity lacking, only eight field goals made for Fullerton, 12 on 52% shooting for the Anteaters. So since UC Irvine has started to gain control of pace of play so far, they've been able to string together a bit of a run and some pretty good offensive looking possessions. Corner triple, Baker can't hit. Ball ping ponged around, Lee goes through his legs, but able to maintain possession here for Fullerton. You gotta remember too, so when last time these two teams faced off against each other, Cal State Fullerton scored 32 points in the first half, UC Irvine scored 24, so roles reversed here in the second game. And a sicky strokes one from the corner, the first triple of the ball game on six attempts for Cal State Fullerton, and boy, did they need that basket. And Asiki's got seven, and the lead is cut to five. We mentioned earlier, Jonathan, there's gonna be a guy that needs to step up big, and of course that guy is gonna be none other than EJ and Asiki. And an offensive foul called right there. Baker lowered the shoulder. He dropped Maddox. And the Titans finally feeling a little bit of momentum shifting towards their favor right now in the last two possessions. That's huge. A great play over there from Trey. You kind of saw that. He kind of had to horse you around to go underneath the cup. And again, you saw that little elbow shove there. Knocks down Trey Maddox Jr. But again, a sensational play defensively for Trey Maddox Jr. Justin Hone, Emmanuel Shimonga both check in. By the way, a really interesting thing about this UC Irvine Anteaters team. They don't have any transfers. And that is by design. 
It's kind of like Clemson football. They don't accept transfers. That's exactly how this program is built. Coach Turner wants to build this team like a farm system. He wants them to be there from the beginning. Milstead flips hands in the air, can't hit Anisiki for the third opportunity, gets it to fall. Just show off those muscles, <laughs> why don't you, my man? Just a great play there from Anisiki. I mean, you you said it earlier about he always hits the weight room, especially with those arms. I said Lee hits the weight room, oh, but I Lee. promise you those guys are spotters they're, they're for similar, each other. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah. when they're benching, those two guys got to be partners. Not find more muscular guys in this building. Velp high post goes right to Anasiki. Lee was there to close. It didn't matter. Colin Velp able to float it in, and he has six. And now he's just trying to show off as well. Kind of ping pong action from both of these two squads, and that's what you like to see. And uh, you know what? Based on this game so far, it's going to come down to that one shot. Got to find a way to continue that momentum. Lee picks Milstead pockets. Leia, uh, Lee picks <laughs> Milstead's pocket and then lays it up for two in the fast break. So. Back and forth we go now. It was an eight point lead. It was cut to five and now it's back up to seven here. There's about a 17 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And you know Lee got a lot of help too from his father Jerome. Also played UC Irvine basketball from 83 to 85 as well. Good call their partner as Maddox able to penetrate and hit. Trey's got his first basket of the ball game and it's a five point deficit. Offense to be uncomfortable when it comes to taking their shots. But at the end of the day, you know what? This has been an evenly matchup and it's gonna be an exciting second half as well. Yeah, you know I'll be on the edge of my seat all of halftime. 20 seconds to go here in the first half. No shot clock for the Anteaters. Looking to extend this lead. DJ Davis penetrates, draws some contact. Just the 15 foul here for Fullerton, so no free throws yet. And perhaps a good foul to use right there with one to give. By the way, double-double watch early. Vincent Lee has five rebounds already. So does Colin Felt go along with his six points. 13 seconds to go. This is Isaiah Lee out of Sydney, Australia. Swings it up to Davis, the Riverside Poly grad with six. Davis will get that high screen from Keeler, turn the corner, Lee switches onto him. Davis lost it. He was able to save it too, and no shot will get off here as we end. Overload just teed up for us, about to get underway as we reset the lineup. Story of San Antonio, EJ Anasicki, Vincent Lee, Latrell Wright. So check that, Trey Maddox and Damar Milstead out there. For Coach Diedrich Taylor, the 114th all-time matchup between these two teams. Butler, Baker, Hone, Velp, and Johnson out there for UCI. And a sicky little turnaround jumper from eight feet out. Barely touches the nylon as he has 11 points. First Titan in double figures, three-point ball game. And it all comes with that swagger. You saw there after he pulled through with the finish, kind of relax his arms a little bit. That's what you like to see. Have some confidence, have some swagger out there, and just that's going to help your abilities a little bit better. Hone able to answer back with a little turnaround layup. Hone has five points. No UCI anteater in double figures. EJ Anasicki owns the only player in the ballgame with 11. But Distribution offensively has been abundant on both sides as that pass from Lee intended for Anasiki just fired through his hands. Turnover number six now for the Titans. And you know, if you look at the numbers too from last time these two squads faced off against each other, Cal State Fullerton, they didn't, you know, give up a free throw opportunity for this Anteater squad. And you know what, if they continue to hold down, kind of limit those fouls, that's gonna definitely help them out, especially at the end run of this game. This is going to be a second half of runs. Butler finds himself open. Extra pass down low, jammed through by Austin Johnson. Great ball movement for UC Irvine, one of the more pr complete possessions we've seen here in this ball game. And that was a situation where Cal State Fullerton's defense was a little bit exposed. You saw Johnson there, wide open. No one was in the paint besides Johnson. So that is something Cal State Fullerton is looking to clean up. Milstead strokes one through from the shoulder. They're gonna need a bit of that here. Paint penetration, furring up some space. Able to knock it in. Talk about a guy with a journey. He started his career at Grand Canyon University, transferred to San Francisco, and then his third stop on his journey here at Cal State Fullerton. 15-footer splashes in for Justin Hone. He has four quick points. Averages 7.2 points per game. And he's a player that you like to see get hot. And you know, this UC Irvine squad, what's really effective is that they don't have that one player. Yes, it's Velp, the player to watch for this Irvine squad, but they have a lot of depth. It's, again, it's not that one player. Majority of these players could easily score double digits. Vincent Lee, back to the basket. 
took some contact. First foul on Colin Vault. Both teams have done a very good job limiting the fouls all over the board, whether that be shooting or just typical personal fouls. Two for five from the line for Fullerton. No free throws for Irvine and Vincent Lee with the jam. Six points for Lee, 37-31, Anteaters lead. Remember last time these two teams played, Fullerton eked out that victory 65 to 63 on 22 of 28 from the free throw line. Irvine was just two for three. That was the difference in that one. Oh, an extra pass. Johnson can't get the flip. Rebound to Lee. Boy, was that a tenacious rebound by the big man. Right soul. Omaha native brings it the other way. He's averaging hair over seven points. Flips it back out. Anna Sicky does have a three tonight. Not a prolific three-point shooter, picks up his dribble, and ball falls safely into the hands of DeMar Milstead. San Antonio, quick closeout by Hone, forces him to put it to the ground. High floater, no good. Off glass, falls to Baker, who will lead the charge the other way. And that's a blocking foul. Baker put his shoulder down earlier in the game. We saw a similar play with Baker. They called an offensive foul. That time, though, Torrey San Antonio obstructing his path to the basket, picks up the foul. Great job there from Baker. You like to see the aggressiveness. You're going out, you're sacrificing your body. And again, that's a 50-50 call right there. That could have gone any way. So yes, it's unfortunate that you pick up the foul. But again, if you're Baker, that's a good foul right there. Titans and Irvine women's in action as well. 30 to 22, Cal State Fullerton on top. But right there, Justin Hone able to drain a three. Nine point Irvine lead the largest of the ball game. He is 11. And he has come alive. His season high is 13. That came at Long Beach State and also versus Cal Poly. So he's two away from that season high, which is also his career high, just a sophomore. Titans looking to respond. It's mini five nothing spurt here for the Anteaters. Lee, soft floater, rims out, ball bounced to Johnson. And the Anteater is very content playing a sluggish pace right now, and they're controlling it. Here's J.C. Butler, extra pass. Velp gives it back, ball stays on the perimeter. Hone loses the handle, gets it back on the post, swings it to Baker. Really good close out there from right, so Baker was ready to pull the trigger. Butler, penetration, too hard off the glass. Lee has it and secures it. Speaking of you, Jonathan, saying pick up the pace of play. <laughs> EJ and a sick and one. It's a move or two yeah. to it. It's a great song. And again, you want to get that energy. And you know, if you're Anna Sicky, he's the guy you want in charity stripe. This guy has been a monster his entire collegiate career. Hits the and one. I mean, if you're new to the Titans team, start Tennessee last year, played in 22 games, spent three years at Secret Heart, where he was a two-time first team all New England conferencer. Very well known in the Division I ranks. This guy also very well known. Colin Velp turns, shoots, and scores. How hard is that one to stop? Velp, a 6'9 redshirt senior, and I mean, you gotta be 7'3 and very quick on your feet to try and stop that. Again, it's just a great move there. You also just talk about Velp. He was trying to create a way to get himself more space. Nice spin around shot there from Welp. Maddox hangs, can hit. Irvine turning up the tempo a little bit. Here's DJ Davis shaking Anisiki. Goes under, can't get the call, but gets the layup to fall nonetheless. Double digit lead here, the largest. Offensively, one of the best three point shooters for this Titans team. And again, you don't have Dante now, and who knows about Trey. So with that, it's going to be very interesting to see how Cal State Fullerton's kind of going to make adjustments to their game plan. They didn't take him to the table. He's currently on the bench. Should we hear anything, we will let you know. Back in action, here's Milstead. Team trailing by 10, trying to cut into the largest deficit of the ball game, and an offensive foul is called. Jalen Harris trying to push off, creating space, gets tagged with that one. Not even an argument from Mr. Harris. And they need to get him going. He currently has a goose egg up on the board. He has been a star, one of the best six players in the league off the bench in the last 10 games, and right now being held in check. Yeah, you know, it's him also being a pass-first type player. But again, if Cal State Fullerton, if they can find a way to pass the ball to Harris, you already know, especially with his numbers with the past few games, if you give him the basketball, he's going to be high and he's going to be a uh, you know, a force to be reckoned with. And especially you talk about the Big West, six-man player of the year. Jalen Harris, of, of course, is in that category. Baker tried to flip it to Uja Dugele. It's picked off. Anisiki gets it, swings it back out. Milstead with the extra pass. 
And now hot potato in the quarter for the Titans. Good hustle back for the Anteaters, stopping a potential fast break opportunity. Only two fast break points in this one for Cal State Fullerton. Right, so thought about the three steps inside. Right shoulder jumper is good. Lead cut to eight. Omaha, Nebraska native. I'll tell you what about the Titans. They recruit awfully well from around the country. Obviously, Southern California basketball is some of the best in the nation, but they are looking to reach out to everywhere, try and collect these classes. And back-to-back -back turnovers for the Anteaters. No man's land, that ball was passed. Shimonga didn't realize it. And the Titans benefiting from another turnover as the baseball team continue, or rather decides to depart from the facility. There'll be an action tomorrow against Gonzaga. Right, so will step back from the 15-foot line, knocks it in. Back-to-back -back baskets for Latrell Reitzel stepping in in Trey Maddox's absence, and the lead, which was once 10, has been cut to six. Baker along the baseline hangs and hits. Again, Cal State Fullerton, you got to get defenders inside the paint. If you leave that paint wide open, Irvine just going to hunt you down and continue to roll that basketball underneath the cup. And Baker with a ton of good genetics. His father played at Southern Utah. His brother currently plays at Weaver State. You can see there, Trey, not on our screen, or actually you can. Yeah, right in the, in the back. back right corner. You know he wants to get back in this game, and mentally for Trey. You know Vincent Lee is trying to hype him up here on the sideline with an and one opportunity. And again, talking about mentality. These guys on the floor, both for UC Irvine and for Cal State Fullerton, they're going to sacrifice your body. There it is right there, Lee going underneath the cup, using all that force there, and again, just tough mental play over there from Cal State Fullerton. And that basket was set up by EJ because he drew three navy blue jerseys around him, providing the lane that Lee was able to benefit from. And the continuity down low for this team right now unparalleled, and they're on a mini 6 nothing run, looking to make it 7 here with Vincent Lee, a very good free throw shooter, but 0 for 2 tonight at the line. Caught the roll right there. And just like that, you close your eyes, you open them back up. It's a five-point ball game. Yep, two-possession game, if that. And again, just great job from this squad to really do all that they can to get the momentum going. And Irvine, again, they got to find a way here, especially in the second half, to find a way to finish it. They've been struggling here with the eight minutes. Again, you got to finish at the end of the day. Velp. Look at Anasiki not giving an inch, still able to get him up, can hit. Anasiki with the rebound and gets tied up here with Shimonga drawing the foul. This guy, EJ Anasiki, we, we speak about him over and over and over again. The truth is, is it's his fearlessness. He, you could be strong, you could have athletic prowess. I mean, at one point I had some athletic prowess, but you gotta be fearless. If you don't have any uh, an ounce of fearlessness, it, it doesn't matter. And this guy, E.J. Hanasicki, is not scared of anybody. Why should be? He's one of the biggest guys on both of these two squads. And again, like you mentioned, he's fearless. He's crafty, and that's what you want out of a basketball player. Right cell on skates, turn, shoots, and hits. 7 nothing run. Three-point ball game here, 11 40 and counting in the second half. And Reitzel has six points on the last three possessions for Cal State Fullerton. Crowd getting into it now. Baker. Up against Lee, lost the handle off his knee. It's coming the other way. And plus crew on hand, so happy you could take some time on your Thursday evening to join us. It was once 46-36, it is 46-43. And now an opportunity for the Titans to make things just a little bit more tenuous between their foes, UC Irvine. Here's Anasiki looking for the tie, can't hit. One for four from beyond the arc for EJ. Returning from the media timeout, Cal State Fullerton currently leading UC Irvine just in the second half, 18 to 16. There's a turnover. Milstead lays it in no problem, one point ball game. And a little bit of pressure now. It has been a sluggish offensive pace of play for the Anteaters. It looks like the Titans are trying to force the issue on defense now. Exactly. Don't force anything. If you, you see Irvine, just remain calm. Don't force anything. Yeah, it looks like real estate was running out there on the far sideline. Right, so we'll get charged with the blocking foul. The Charles second. By the way, Colin Velp only eight points. Ninth leading scorer in the conference at 14 and a half points per game. Heldly large and heldly largely held in check. Wow, say that five times fast. But that corner three falls in for Isaiah Lee. 
28% three-point shooter finally stifles the 9-0 Titan run. Here's EJ. Penetrates. Now Milstead takes that screen. Turns the corner, floats it up. Can't get the roll. Anasiki cleans up the glass, puts it in. 16 points for EJ Anasiki. Offensive rebounds now being stressed. Fourth of the ball game for Cal State Fullerton. Baker's had a very good day off the bench. He seeds possession here to Justin Hone. Double comes, Hone shakes it. No looker on the right block. Leads to a dunk for Austin Johnson. Good ball movement for the Anteaters. Lead back up to five. Check that, four. And right now you can see just clogging the lanes for UCI's defense, trying to force that ball to stay on the perimeter. Milstead, nine on the clock. You gotta get somebody moving. Here's Lee with the screen. Milstead turns with four. Milstead with two, gets rejected by Lee from behind. He is touted for that kind of defense. Comes through in a big way right there. Hone. Little skate move all the way to the rack for two. Just a beautiful move there. Simply put it, you know what? You want to have a little fun out there? Prime plan where you're so efficient when it comes to your game of play. And again, that is something that UC Irvine has done a great job here in the second half. Possession in Cal State Fullerton's hands. Still plenty of time in this game. It has been a really interesting ball game in terms of streakiness, in terms of pace of play. Here's Maddox into the corner. Reitzel puts it to the deck, steps inside, can't hit the 18-footer. That has been his bread and butter here in half number two. He has six second half points on shots just like that one. Velp, unattended, 12 footer, no problem. He's in double digits with 10. Nice to see Trey back on the court. Yes, Trey Maddox, scary fall earlier, got looked at, cleared to play. Extra pass down low, right full the lead, leads to a jam. Is uh, is Jalen Harris planning the pitch tomorrow for the baseball team? I mean, that ball on the MPH gun, that would have registered pretty high. Hey, you never know. He's got good eyes, so he could definitely do it all, that's for sure. Oh, and a little stop and start. Swings it back out to Velp. Velp, a quiet 10 points here tonight. Obviously, though, his presence just enough. Straight man-on-man -man defense right now, but a mismatch here. Maddox up on Velp. Seven on the clock, Baker to Butler, wide open corner pocket, triple, almost banks in. Rebound sword to Johnson, and an opportunity with a fresh 20 here. Velp turns, shoots, can't knock it in. Quick pull the trigger here for Maddox, no good. Baker off to the races after the rebound. Good job by the orange jerseys to hustle back. Crowd remaining a factor here, trying to force the silent count for UC Irvine's offense. Hone facilitating things up top. Hone stutters, Euros lays it in. Just a filthy move over there from Hone. Again, just a great job really maneuvering that play over there. And he has a new career high, 15 points. Harris tees up a triple, can hit, rebound to Johnson. And rushed offensive possessions have been the Achilles here, heel, heel here in the last few minutes for the Titans. Coach Taylor likes to look for those high percentage shots, perhaps not what his team has been executing. Beautiful floater though falls through for Butler. He has 17 against, or against Fullerton at 7 p.m. Mike Martinez and I will be on the call for that one. Six o'clock game on Saturday. One o'clock game on Sunday. It's always fun though with baseball. I mean, played Stanford, new head coach. It's gonna be a fun year. Definitely a new era of Cal State Fullerton baseball. Vincent Lee, eight feet out on the high post. Ton of backspin on that one falls through. Yeah, you talk about that Stanford series. I mean, they lost two of three. Stanford, one of the top teams in the nation, but they won one of them 11 to one. You gotta think the bats are gonna be hot for yeah. Coach Mark Martinez's squad. There's a potential turnover. Shaw hits the deck, looking for the pass. Finds Onasicki down low. Milstead gets absolutely hammered, and he'll head to the line for two. 
Great job there from Mills that you saw there. He was ready to go underneath the cup, but he saw the defender come chase him down. So he decides to kind of slow up a little bit just so that he can go ahead, draw contact again. Great pass there from Anisiki. Great foul over there from Milstead. Second foul for Butler. Milstead, a very good free throw shooter. Shows you right there as he hits his first one. Felt back into the game. Joining him will be Justin Hone. Johnson and Baker take a seat. Mills set a season to go at San Francisco, only five points per game. He has really upped his offensive prowess here with Cal State Fullerton, goes two for two, lead cut to six now. And a very good facilitator, Tamari Mills, and an underrated defender too, I would say. And now it's the superstar matchup, Colin Velp, EJ Anasicki doing battle here. And Velp is just gonna try and play point guard here, but his pocket is picked by Milstead. Up to Shaw. Shaw in a one-on-one. -on -one, lays it in, and we got a four-point ball game with 5.35 to go in this one. Just great eyes for Milstead. Just smart basketball IQ there. You know, I mean, some NFL players are looking for, you know, a new quarterback, so hey, you never know. Defensive intensity is turned up. Taken away by San Antonio. Milstead for three. Got it! What, it's what you want. If you're Cal State Fullerton, perfect place right now to be right now. Back into the action, here's J.C. Butler. Momentum has completely shifted now, but still playing with the lead are the Anteaters. Hone matched up with Harris. Takes the screen, turns the corner, flips the Butler in the corner. 13 on the clock for Butler. Penetrates inside, gets hacked by Anasiki. J.C. Butler heads the line for two. Good job there from Butler. Kind of saw Anisiki come from the left side of the wing. Here you have here, it was kind of a little hesitant move there from Anisiki, decides to go, puts his hands up. Unfortunately, with that contact, is going to draw the foul. First foul for EJ. One's in the foul category all across the board for the Titans. Every player in has one foul. That is a good sign. Not in foul trouble. You have still two to give here in the second half. Butler, a 72% free throw shooter, goes one for two. Vincent Lee with a bit of a stiff arm, still secures the rebound. Opportunity for the Titans to tie or take the lead here with 4.45 and counting in the second half. Here's Jalen Harris. Milstead, who has been a star both defensively and offensively here in half number two. Into the corner, Anasicki. Into the middle, back out. Harris looking for the lead. Can't get the roll. Good look, though. Great look, again, that's all it takes. Good shot selection, good job from Harris. And you know you, you know Harris is crafty. You know he's not gonna get that to him mentally. So again, I expect Harris to be more firing there beyond the arc. And Austin Johnson will get card called for his second offensive foul of the game. That's his fourth foul. And he is in danger now with four on the board. And a big break right there too, because Hone had a wide open lay and had Johnson just slid to his left and not obstructed San Antonio's basket, uh, opportunity to try and stop the potential lane by Hone, then that would have been an easy two. Instead, score remains 60 to 58 here, 419, half number two. And it's huge. Johnson now in foul trouble. Again, he's leading the Big West in blocks per game. So again, this is a huge momentum killer for UC Irvine, especially they lose one of their best defenders. Harris up against Vel doesn't care about the size difference. This big man, I'll take any day of the week. We're tied at 60. 6-1, Jalen Harris against the 6-9, Colin Velt. Here's Lee. High post through the hands of Shimonga, and it comes back the other way. The wheels are falling off for UC. May not be the ball game, but the way that these two teams play, we're in for anything here on a Thursday night, and that is exactly what the last seven or so minutes have shown. The big difference of game one was free throws. Cal State Fullerton had 23 free throw opportunities. Irvine had three. And we're going to get an offensive foul off the ball here on EJ Anasicki. But going over, talking about game two, the key factor, turnovers. UC Irvine averaged 13 turnovers per game. They have 17 here tonight. But not only just that, not only Cal State Fullerton has seven turnovers, but points off of turnovers, 23 points. And that's been a killer for the Anteaters here tonight. Anteaters searching for offensive answers so far. Justin Hone up against Harris, forced to give it up to Butler here. 16 on the clock, Baker now in. 
providing some much needed offense for this team. Austin Johnson also back out there. He has four. Pull up for Baker is short. Johnson with the board. Can't get the follow, but a late whistle ensues. And that's going to send Austin Johnson to the line. Vincent Lee very unhappy with that call. But nonetheless, fortune favors the Anteaters there. You know, that was kind of a situation where both of these two squads were kind of surprised because so far in this game, most of the officials, they're just letting the athletes play. And you kind of see that change a little bit here towards the end of the game. Really they've been calling a lot of fouls. Johnson, a 79% free throw shooter, playing with four fouls right now. Got the home bounce on that one. Mm -hmm. Baseball team on the horizon from his purview. Students trying to make him go one for two. And Marietta, Georgia native, no problem. Two for two, extends the lead here, two, two. He has six points. And you know they're gonna attack him offensively. He is the main defensive threat for the Anteaters playing with four fouls down low. And he's also guarding, guarding EJ Anasicki. Milstead wide open, pulls the trigger, can't hit. Anasicki soars, it's tapped away, Baker corrals. Three on three break now, Baker right wing to hone. And a good job just to pull it back and allow his offense to reset here. Hone at the shoulder. Back to Baker with nine. Somebody's got to set him up for something with six. Baker turns the corner with five, swings it back out. Hone with two, pulls one up. Can't get the roll. Johnson, volleyball spikes that one towards the bench. It goes out of play. It's going to be Titan basketball here with 2.19 to go. Just great defense there from Cal State Fullerton. You know what? Irvine, they did a great job spreading out that Cal State Fullerton defense, but it just seemed like they couldn't find an opening. So with that, they were just continuing to hold on to the ball, and because of that, that was a situation where that could have easily been a shot clock violation. Second place on the line for both these teams. Three ball games to go after this one. And we're going down to the wire. 2.05 to go. Here's Anasicki on the high post. He has 16. Goes right at Johnson into the corner. An opportunity for the lead no by Latrell Reitzel. And this is a situation where you miss Dante Maddox and his three-point shooting. Hone was wide open. I am shocked that he didn't turn and pull the trigger. He has a three tonight. He's 31% on the season. We have 15 to go. He resets. High post Velp up against Lee. Too hard off the glass. Wanted the call. Couldn't get it. Nolstead slows things up, finds Anasicki. Quarter pocket triple, no good. And Coach Taylor unhappy with that one. Anasicki not shy from big shots, neither is this guy. Colin Velp, long shot, long rebound, Milstead. All alone, Milstead soars, lays it in, we're tied at 62. This is where you want to be. You don't necessarily need to be the yes, of course, 100%. <laughs> Full court pressure in effect here for the Titans. Here's Baker off the inbound. Baker has eight points off the bench out of Cota de Casa, California. 60 seconds to go. We are tied at 62. Sole possession to second place on the line. Anasicki tips it away. Hone corrals it. Tries to find Velp. Lee is there. Up to Harris. Titans lead by two. Just a great job there from Harris. That's it. Stick to the fundamentals. Take your time. That's all it's going to do. As long as you don't make mistakes, Cal State Florida. Teeters to try and respond here. A 14 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here you go. Big answer. Big question. Who's going to be the hero of the ball game? Let's find out. Here's Colin Velp, two time first team Big West, or right shoulder jumper. Good. And you expect that from Colin Velp. 64 to 64. A three second difference now as the Titans regain offense. And we'll call a timeout. Coach Diedrich Taylor, very strategic with his timeout, still had one. That will be a full timeout. So the Titans in possession of the basketball, tied at 64, 27 to go in the ball game. You're watching Big West Men's Basketball on ESPN. January 15th, 1966 was the first time that these two teams have met.
114 games later, it is 64 to 64. 27 seconds to go. Sole possession of second place in the Big West Conference on the line. You could not write a script better than what is happening before our eyes, Robbie. You know, if you're Cal State Fullerton, you want to be in this situation. This is everyone's dream as a basketball athlete. You want to be the last one to get the buzzer. You want to be the hero. This is your shot right here, right now. Everybody on their feet in the student section. We're on our feet here on the broadcast booth as well. Nine seconds on the shot clock, 10 and counting on the game clock. Here's Harris. Little stutter. Step back jumper, knocks it through. Jalen Harris. And with three seconds to go, a foot run. Into this home crowd, it's gonna be a fun one to watch, Jonathan. Vincent Lee to guard Baker on the inbound. Baker to Hone, Hone loses it, puts it up at the buzzer, it's no good, and the Titans win.